It's been a really long couple of weeks, but we're finally back, and there's gonna be a video today. Or January का महीना पसीना भी शुरू. Yes, summers are also back. Let's roll the intro. Hello, how are you guys doing? Uh, welcome back to another video from Wave Traveler. Uh, this is Abhishek, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a topic which I lightly touched on my helmet accessory video. Link to that video right here. But today we're going to go a little bit in depth, not too much, but a little bit in depth about the type of visors. So we're gonna break those downs. So we're gonna try to make uh, a pro and con list of sort, so it is easier for us to make a decision which visor to use when. And you heard it right. I said which visor to use when, and not which is the best visor, because there is no best visor. There are different visors that you're gonna use in different conditions, and that decision, I hope you'll be able to make after watching this video. Okay, so let's first get started basically with the different type of visors. Two of them are right here with me and these are the cooler ones and uh, we're gonna call them non-cool cousin in a short while. But yeah, first let me talk about uh, these two real quick and uh, this is what we call a uh, smoked visor or a dark tinted visor and this is what we call a reflective iridium visor and the ugly cousin as we aptly named it is sorry is the clear visor now if you're wondering where i pulled this visor out from this is called a visor sleeve if you want to know about it i have made a video about this also and uh, the link will be right here you can watch it so, without further ado, let's talk about these three visors right here. Alright, so the first visor we're going to be talking about is the clear visor. Now, this particular visor is the default visor which is uh, sold with every single helmet that you're going to buy. The optional purchases are the tinted or the smoke visor or the iridium visor. You're going to shell out different amount of money depending on what kind of helmet you have. For empty, it's I think around 700,000 bucks or something for uh, an additional visor. Alright, so let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of the clear visor. Now, the pro of the visor is that it's clear transparent, so it allows maximum visibility. The con is that since it is clear and transparent uh, during your afternoon rides, sun is going to stare right in your face. A, it's going to fatigue you and B, it's going to cause hindrance in your vision again so the same thing which is a pro is a con for this particular visor oh so totally forgot there's another con for this this does not look cool now like this says padhai likhai maa baap ne kara di company wale paisa de rahe apna kaam kya cool hai so this if you want to look cool this is not the purchase you're gonna make since we're talking about cool let's quickly switch to our second visor right here Right, so quickly jumping into the cool categories now. So this is the smoked or a tinted visor. As the name suggests, it is a smoke visor. It's not a dark visor, so it's gonna be a little translucent. Since it's translucent, it's a huge pro. And the reason for that is A, it provides great visibility during daytime when the sun is right on your face. You will get less fatigue than using a clear visor and you'd have better visibility, obviously. The second thing is since it's translucent, it does not compromise on the night visibility as much as a mirrored visor would. Uh, what I'm trying to say is if you're riding on the city where which is like very well lit, you have street lamps and you have lots of vehicles, 
the road is clearly visible in those kind of conditions this visor would thrive there would be no problem in any kind of uh, night circumstances i would recommend a clear visor over the smoke or mirrored visor any given day but uh, if your helmet does not have a easy remove mechanism or you have just the one visor i'm trying to tell you is this provides decent visibility as long as you're riding in the city well lit city now the cons for this is uh, a like i said in the night time it works but not as effective as a clear visor so if you're riding on highways which is barely lit this is a straight no no and also the second most important part if it is very sunny if there is like very harsh sunlight this being translucent is not going to do as good a job of keeping the sunlight out of your eyes as uh, a tinted visor would now speaking of tinted visor um oh and also before i forget uh the cool quotient on this is quite high compared to the clear visor i'll give it 5 out of 10 cool stars i would attend cool stars now uh getting back to talking about tinted visors let me just put it right here all right there we go the coolest visor now i know this looks a little bit different than those because this is from for my other helmet this for my half face helmet it looks really cool i have a really cool picture of me using this in the sunlight i'll put it right here you looked at that picture before getting into any kind of discussion i want to rate this 10 on 10 on the coolness question so it's very cool now this one is a silver tinted visor uh, there are other colors also you have like different iridium visors where you know the reflective material is different i will see it will not let any of the light pass in and you have some great visibility uh, but but that is all that's the same thing like with every visor the same thing is a pro and the same thing is a con the pro for this is it's got a uh, high reflective uh, highly reflective material so a lot of the sunlight is reflected your eyes are protected very well but you absolutely cannot use this in the night so the pro is well uh, it's tinted it leaves a lot of the sunlight out so a lot of the light is reflected so what you see is a very clear vision when riding in very harsh sunlight but if riding in the we are so the morning or the evening where sunlight is scarce that's when you're going to have a huge problem with visibility here so this is not something which uh, i will recommend at all when you're uh, you know transitioning from morning to afternoon or afternoon to evening if you're only riding in the noon time and during the day time when it's brightly lit feel free to use it you will love it so the cool story when i actually um i i was used to using the smoke visor a lot so one day i decided to uh, go to work using this particular helmet uh, visor and well on my way out it's like what 3 4 pm so it was very very cool and when around 2 am i was getting back i decided to use this visor and I should you not I actually missed to see like uh, two huge speed bumps that's the moment I decided to park my bike to the left just remove the visor put it in my bag and just ride it without right right the whole ride without a visor so from personal experience I'm going to tell you do not use this at night so now to conclude there are these three awesome visors and what you need to understand is when to use which visor i always say go for a helmet this is a mistake i made go for a helmet which has a easy remove mechanism and buy multiple visors if you have longer rides when you are transitioning a lot going from early morning uh, scarce daylight to afternoon harsh daylight or to evening with again low daylight low sunlight so what you can do is you can start with a clear visor and then uh, change it to a smoked visor or a iridium visor and then you know you can maybe switch back uh, if you really need to to back to a clear visor so if you have a helmet that has a easy to move mechanism that's going to be perfect but in case you do not well i think uh, the best bet here is the smoke visor but again if you're riding highways i would i'd rather you uh, use a clear visor with sunglasses than use the smoke visor or the iridium visor so all right uh, well that's it i hope this video helps you 
and this is the first video of 2021 hope i am able to make more videos fingers crossed um there's a ride video pending which well the ride is pending so i hope to see you soon hopefully on the road until then take care bye bye ciao